Do you have no motivation? Then this video is for you. You might think that motivation is this magical thing that is going to hit you at some point and make your life better immediately. I thought that as well. I thought that for many, many years and I was waiting for this motivation to strike me and for me to complete everything I ever wanted. Complete my blog, to make my website, to make my businesses work and everything. But that never happened, really. Now, this is not completely true, but it is mostly true. It didn't happen in the way that I expected it to happen. I didn't become fully motivated 100% of the time. More often than not, I was not as motivated as I wanted to be. So, how to increase your level of motivation? Three ways to be more motivated, get more done, and achieve everything you want. Let's go. Approach number one, the first thing I tried is make work fun. Find something that you can spend hours and hours on, but it might seem confusing to actually do. Here's how to do that. First of all, Step number one, realize, please, please realize that not all of your work is going to be fun. Some of it is going to be insanely fun and some of it is going to be a slog. The key here is to take the part that is a slog and make it less of a slog and take the part that is very fun already and make it extremely fun. So it is about leverage. For example, as a game developer, I often had to open up a plugin for my game that allowed me to add some extra functionality, read it through and see how it works. This was not as fun as I wanted it to be. I was not making games, I was just reading about something that could potentially, eventually, if it worked great, help me make a game. That's boring. How did I make it more interesting? First of all, I improved my research. I didn't check every single plugin. I check the best plugins. I optimize the work so I have less of it. The second part is when I was going through the plugins, I was looking for fun things to do with them instead of just going through the documentation and testing it in the most basic way possible. For example, if the plugin was for to make your character run, I can just make the character run. To make this more fun, I would make the character run over lava. You know, trying to add these extra steps that don't really add much to the value of the work, but don't take much extra time and make the whole process way more fun. So include different rewards across the work you do, different fun little activities that don't take extra time, but make the whole process more fun and more enjoyable. Now, for the stuff that is already very fun, the best thing you can do for it to make it even more enjoyable is to preserve it. Make sure that you have big chunks of time that you can really dedicate into them. Take this best part of your work, condense it into a single slot of your day, guard that slot as much as you can so you can spend as much time as you can just focused on that best part. That would make it so much better. Number two is learn more things. The more things you know, the more things you are aware of, the more you can integrate those things in your day-to-day -day work. For example, if you're an engineer and you're working on code, understanding the business and understanding the customer and understanding your team can allow you to get your code and then magnify it by a factor of 10 or 20. If I am working on something, a drawing, code, a game, doesn't matter, but when I'm working Working on that, I'm focused on the actual doing, on my craft, on making this thing better. But at any given point of time, there are other people involved in this, other processes. There are other businesses that care about what I'm doing. And therein lies the problem. When I'm focused on making the best thing, I forget about all of the other components, all of the other businesses, people, customers, teammates, doesn't matter. I forget about all of that because my focus is making the best thing. And this best thing cannot happen without all of the other people that are involved in it. So by understanding those people, by understanding what they do and how they contribute to the big picture of what you're making because you're probably not making it completely alone by understanding them you can add their ideas and their feedback that is important to your creative process and that would empower you to make so much more one big thing that i always suggest to people who are just starting out creating make it public immediately let it suck no one cares everyone will want to support you more you will be so much better off once you get that one person saying hey i'm excited to see what you do next motivation man it's a different thing the third approach to generate motivation every single day is building good habits. Good habits are one of the biggest parts of you being motivated. Motivation is energy. And this positive energy can help you get started, but it is a limited quantity of energy. You spend all of your money on the ticket to enter the door, you won't have enough money to buy drinks and to buy food and whatever. If you can get started without spending any of your motivation energy and use some other energy, in this case the habits, then you can have all of your motivation energy left for the going to push you through more and more stuff and help you create more. So how to build good habits? A very quick guide. Habits have three steps. Step one is a trigger, something that gets you started. A 
a time of day or something that you already do are good triggers for your new habit that is going to get you started. Step two is the action. An action is what you do after the trigger. For example, you wake up at 11 o'clock or 10 o'clock or 5 o'clock, doesn't matter. And when you wake up, you do your daily routine and at the end, you add one extra action. And that action can be, I will work on my project for five minutes. It needs to be easy, so you stick with it consistently, but it will be enough to get you started, which is the goal of this habit. At the end of this action, you get the reward, which is the third part of the habit. And this reward is you getting some sort of extra boost for completing your daily thing. And this extra boost is typically in the form of dopamine, making you feel good, making you exciting, giving you extra motivation even still, ready for you to drink and use for whatever you want. By just introducing one daily habit to get you started once every single day, you can leave more of your motivation cup filled and you can add this habit more times during the day. You can do this once after you wake up, once after lunch, once before you go to bed. You can do this many, many times throughout the day and after you finish your five minutes, you can continue on for as long as you can, as long as you have motivation. And yeah, but before we go, there is one thing that can help you progress faster after you get started, and that is single tasking. It's a powerful tool. It will allow you to sit down, work for 30, 40 minutes, an hour, and get more done compared to other people doing four hours. It's a pretty powerful tool. Check it out here and see you in the next one. Cheers.